behave. Now we're going to compare as a baseline an original Mustang or Falcon suspension system to an RRS strut assembly. And first of all, with an understanding of how this original system operated. The wheel motion ratio is quite different to the spring because it's a lever mounted spring. So consequently, the spring moves over a shorter range of travel and is lever mounted. Therefore, the spring has to be at least two times stiffer than the actual vehicle supported weight. Also added to that, because it's moving over a short range, the shock absorber has to dampen this huge spring over a short range. And anybody with a big block Mustang would know the problems of uh, cracking the shock towers at this particular point. The other thing that happens is where the spring saddle goes, it's prone to cracking out in the uh, control arms as well. Added to that, the shock absorbers get dramatically overworked in any kind of uh, race car situation and invariably they overheat and blow out. There's a legendary sort of story of Dick Johnson trying out a new performance set of shocks and burning all the paint off and ruining the shocks within a, a couple of laps. Now I'll compare this to a Commodore setup or in America known as a Pontiac GTO. This is an OEM strut assembly with its spring and you can see all sorts of differences between the two here. But what is most important to recognise is a number of features. Very limited camber adjustment, a huge range of camber adjustment on the RRS strut leg. Also, you'll notice that the spring platform interferes with different things. The wheel normally sits in this location. We've got ample clearance for wider wheels. Now, on the top of these OEM items, they have two important features that should be included in any kind of strut assembly. A method of articulation, which in the OEM Commodore or Pontiac GTO, is by a big rubber mounting block. This is also a point of deflection and an area of inaccuracy for a performance application. One of the most important features to understanding a strut front end is that a spherical bearing is only good for articulation, not rotation under load, it binds. And one of the things it can do if you don't have a good rotation method is crack the top nut, and the mounting nut, undone. Even though we have a set screw and a, a lock nut method on this, we provide a provision of rotation with a Torrington race that's mounted in the top mounting cone of the spring seat. This allows full rotation with a smooth and accurate action. On our unit, you can adjust the shock absorber externally with this little screwdriver just by the click of a screwdriver. There's also a number of other shortcomings of this unit and the biggest one is unsprung weight. This is all very, very heavy. One of the most important things for reaction time in a suspension is to reduce the unsprung weight. You've got a number of other uh, design flaws in this as far as uh, modern radial tyre. Uh, its ability uh, to have adjustments, uh, also the lifespan of shock absorbers trying to dampen this unit by comparison, the RRS unit, because it has a motion ratio that is the same as the wheel, is far more responsive in its reaction, far more responsive to dampening uh, the spring during impacts of potholes and corrugations in the road. And that's because the motion ratio is one to one. It's one of the features of a strut front end. Now, added to that, it's got a number of other design features that this unit does not have. It has height adjustment by using the spanner that we provide with the kit. You can undo this lock ring on the top, undo the series of set screws in the side, and then adjust the height from this clevis mount. Now this will do a number of things. Uh, it'll give you height adjustment, but it'll also maintain a pretty good ratio of roll center to centre of gravity, which is another thing that you can't fiddle with on this without relocating mounting points. In summary, the advantages of the RRS strut front end over any OE setup or even a modified OE setup are numerous. 
You can use this for drag racing, you can configure it for that. You can use it for circuit racing, we can configure it for that. You can use it for street driving, show cars, but the most important thing to recognise is all of this assembly is all made from quality products that outperforms anything else on the market. You cannot beat it for performance, durability, serviceability and all out better form in your car.